Okay, folks. Jim here. How you doing? Anyway, what we're doing here today is um, rotor replacement on a 1995 Chevy truck. It's my plow truck, my regular work truck. See, here you go. I'm putting on rotors. It doesn't look like that. You'll see once we get in there a bit. It's crazy and look at that. Woo, doggy. That's awful. Anyway, so this side here was going, I believe the caliper is still suspect. I've already done this side. And when I was at it, I rotated the wheels. Uh, as you know, the four-wheel drives and all, they wear a little bit on the outside. And then sometimes they get that uh, little hoppy stuff. That could be from a shock. Anyway, but uh, here we go. So I'll show you part of what's going on and what Jim does. So I'm going to give you like this here. And Oh, look at that. I can't even believe that that's that close. Huh. All right. Well, there you go. I like it. So, I don't have the right, uh, there's wheel covers that go on here and like that. I didn't, don't particularly care for them. So I take them off when I get a truck. So these have been off forever, as you can see. Look. Anyway, so I, I do like the covers, though, because they keep uh, the rust out. Oh, look at that there. I got a loose bolt. All right. Well, we'll get him later on. So. First thing we're gonna do is put a socket on here. See, it's not much good without a socket. Take my covers off. Look at that, zippity doo dah. The lug nuts have a little bit of a thread on them, and there's a little thread inside of here. I don't know if you can see it, but it is. Anyway, so now uh, we come to take the wheel off, of course, and, and you can do this in your driveway, all by your, in, at your own home and all like that. It's not that big of a deal. Well, it is. <laughs> it is. And I suggest that if you're going to do it, do it at your friend's house where he has a torch. And here we go. put these on over at the mechanic shop when I bought tires. I bought tires from over there. These tires right here, Cooper AT3s, very good. The guy can get any kind of tire you want. They're all pretty good. It just depends on what you're using them for. And like me, trailers and I plow and uh, you know logs and stuff so I want good 10 ply tires good good ones I know they're just you know load range ease which are pretty darn tough tires I have slashed them accidentally you know on uh, something but uh, they're still tough that one there was too bad too So you saw how that worked. It's not rocket science, it's a wheel, right? So, and these do weigh a lot, so I'm gonna have to get up. <laughs> All right, oh, look at that. And see, I'm gonna put this one, I'm gonna try to skin by there. See, it's got a little hoppiness right there. Um, and you, if you can see how the tread is a little bit, like here, you know, and then like there, it's not. See, so anyway, so it's wearing, which is normal. So we'll put it back here. So I can get it later when I rotate the tires. If I put it back there, I won't forget. Well, less chance of forgetting. How's that? Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do is this, this nut right here. And I have found that if I, oh goodness, take a bar. Sorry about getting out of camera. Well, you probably don't want me in camera anyway. Uh, if you take this bar to stop a couple of the lugs, and of course, so you don't hurt the um, threads. But, but you know what? I'm gonna do a thing right now. I'm gonna put some oil on these guys. They don't need to be, uh, it doesn't need to be on here right now, but you know what? Somewhere during all this, I'm probably gonna have to do it, so why not do it right now? There you go. Let's see, one of them didn't look so good. I guess it turned out okay. All right. Two lug nuts. Come 
Come on, you. Look at that. Fingers aren't working. Where is my tool? I'm going to put them on. Do this on the other side. I've already done the other side. And I decided. Oh. I decided that I'm going to make a video of it so that someone can see it does look easy. It, it really does. But when you get there, it's not so easy. Anyway, there's some bolts in the back here. You have to undo this one. You want to get your caliper off, of course. You know, we're doing brakes anyway, so that's part of the deal. Um, and then uh, there's bolts in the back. You got to watch out. You got to undo your ABS thing. But first, this guy. So we're undoing it, so it's going to go that way. So we need to put my bar in here like this. There we go. So that when it starts going, I got it held down. Okay. And then you get yourself a uh, inch and three eighths it looks like here socket it fits right on there. Okay, and then you take your handle off your other jack unless you have an air tool that's good enough to do this. I don't have the adapter in. Somebody put these on with the force of God when they did it. And that's okay with me. So here you go. Go like this. Look at that. Not quite enough to do that one. So I'm gonna give him a little bit more up this way Let's see if we can't get it done this way now, without hurting anything of course and you gotta do it in a snappy motion you know like a impact would do it there we go and a good old four foot bar really helps either it's gonna break something or it's gonna do its job all right there we go I got that loosened up now so Holy smokes! And of course, don't remove your bar. You're gonna need him because this thing here is not coming off in the nicest. You know, it's pretty tough. So, anywho, oh Lord, there we go. And we're gonna pray to Jesus, everybody. Pray to Jesus. This just all does what it's supposed to do. And uh, we'll find out, won't we? Put this here, probably won't find it later, but you folks pay attention and then you can uh, let me know where I put it. So, of course, just so we can continue doing what we're doing, we're going to take these. Whoa, these bajimini, take it up. There we go. And there we go. All right, that's enough of that for a while. Um, all right, so now we're going to turn to. Uh, getting the uh, line off here and uh, let's see there you go get him out of there. there's little clippy things in here let's uh, let's get in here and see what's going on guys all right all right so look at that we got these little clipping things get them out of there one more it's not even in that one but it plugs in right there see that yep we're gonna do that uh, this here you got to peel open. There's another little bracket back there. But we'll get back to that in a little bit. What I need to do is turn, turn uh, the tire so I can get at the bolts here and I can get at the back uh, bolts that hold all this on. Okay. And the ones that hold on, they may come off with the air wrench. They may not. I had to use my torch and heat up the heads red hot and then they came out last time. Kind of hurt a few of them, but I didn't have the right socket. I didn't, you know. So I, I did what I had to do. So anyway, all right, folks, thanks a lot. Uh, come back. I'm going to do some turning here, and uh, then I'll show you what we're doing, okay? All right, bye now.